Today, I'm going to talk about how to work out any of the minor scales without using the circle of fifths. The first thing you need to understand is what a semitone and a tone are. Uh, a semitone is just the smallest interval on the piano. So if you go up in semitones, you're just hitting every single note. So a semitone is the smallest distance. A tone is simply two semitones. So um, if you go up in uh, whole tones, you go from C to D to E, jump over the F and hit F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, a jump over the B to C. Uh, those are all tones. Um, so the structure of the natural minor scale we're going to start on A because it's the easiest one. It goes root, the first note is just the root. We go up a tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. Okay, so root, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. Um, that's what we call the natural minor. Um, for anyone doing exams, you might already know that um, they often don't ask you to play the natural minors. They actually ask you to play something called the harmonic minor or the melodic minor. Um, these are based on the natural minor. So it's really important to understand the natural minor before you get into those. Um, so here's what we do. Firstly, uh, you work out your uh, scale using that structure. Uh, root, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. Um, and then to get, uh, let's start with harmonic. To get harmonic, there's a, a rule you have to apply. Harmonic, you raise the seventh note by one semitone. So we're going to drop the whole structure thing uh, because I actually think it's really uh, a long-winded way to memorize the three separate structures of the three different minor scales. Uh, natural, melodic, and harmonic. It's actually easier to just memorize the natural minor and then make the uh, alterations from there. So harmonic, you raise the seventh note. So we know that the um, A minor natural is just A to A, all white notes. Now let's do that again, but let's raise the seventh note by one semitone. One, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh note is gonna be G, but we're gonna raise it to G sharp. That is a minor harmonic, or a harmonic minor. I always forget which way round it is. Do you say, is it a minor harmonic or a harmonic minor? If you know, let me know. It will stop me getting fired. That'd be great. Um, now we come to melodic. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated. The rule for melodic is that you raise the sixth and seventh note, one semitone. Harmonic is just the seventh, melodic is the sixth and seventh. So one, two, three, four, five. F would be the sixth, but we're gonna raise it to F sharp. G would be uh, the seventh, but we're gonna raise that to G sharp. And then A, so. Now, that's not that complicated, but what's really annoying about the melodic scale is that it changes on the way down. It's different going up and down. So on the way up, you raise the sixth and seventh. But on the way down, you lower those again to the natural minor. So the melodic is actually melodic on the way up, and on the way down, it is just natural minor. All right, so let's uh, demonstrate it on a different scale. We'll use C minor, relatively easy, just relatively common. Um, so firstly, let's follow our... Uh, our natural minor structure. Go root, tone, semitone, tone, tone, uh, semitone, tone, tone. All right. It's got three flats, B, E, and A flat. Now let's do harmonic. We're gonna raise the seventh note. Uh, so we're gonna raise the B flat to a B natural. I always think harmonic sounds has like a really distinctive sound. I love it. It's actually one of my favorite uh, scales. Ooh, mess it up. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's harmonic. Now let's work out the uh, melodic. So melodic, we're gonna raise a six and a seven. So the A flat is gonna become A natural and the B flat is gonna become B natural. Um, so, and on the way down, it's natural minor again.
Right, quite an interesting sounding skill, uh, being different in both directions. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, I will put a link to my video about the circle of fists. I do recommend uh, using that to work out scales just because it gives you a much better understanding of how the uh, key signatures are all connected. Um, and quite a lot of music theory is built on it. Uh, so I do recommend, recommend that, but um, I hope this was helpful anyway. And um, that's it, I'll see you in the next one.